Hey guys, VG Logic here, and uh, right, we're on, we're on the castle this time round. Um, this level, there's not so much stuff that's particularly difficult in it, but there's just tedious bits. I think you'll see what I mean when we get through it. Um, if anything, the hardest bits are, well, there's a boss at the end of the stage, of course, he's a pain, and um, even this bit is, well, if it doesn't go your way, uh, that's kind of it. Um, but yeah, let's see how we go this round. Hopefully I'll be able to keep my rating up for most of this stage. Okay, that didn't last long. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was on Superstar, but um, it went down pretty quick. I, I messed up, it wasn't... it was... yeah, I just screwed up, really. <laughs> uh, all you gotta do here is just try and knock the knights off the bridge. Um, best way to do that is, well, you can get them to charge like that here in the butt a couple of times and they'll do it. Or, um, you can try and push them into the river. That takes a bit more time, but they don't, you know, they don't charge at you, so that's kind of neat. But honestly, clearing these guys quite quickly. I don't think there's a set amount of times to hit them before they charge. Sometimes it takes quite a few goes. But we're making good headway already on this. This should be good. Cap that one on the side. No, a bit late. They all try and, well you can probably notice anyway, they all try and sort of go to the middle. Um, so, but sort of once you've got them sort of spaced out, it's a, it's a bit easier. Now if I hit that guy on the right, like once more, I'm pretty sure he'll go in. Go on, no, ah. Oh. Okay, well if I keep charging, that, that'll, that'll work too. Okay, he's moved to the side. Can we knock him in? There you go. Awesome. The sound didn't play, but awesome. <laughs> Great, okay. That was surprisingly easy. <laughs> it was much easier than Superstar, anyway. <laughs> Okay, now these guys, um, actually no, it's not this bit, there's a bit after this, um, yeah, I think this a bit, this bit will be okay, I think, it's the next bit, if we're gonna have trouble anywhere, it's gonna be on the next part of the stage. The trick really here is just, to just get as many multi-balls as possible, and then they can't block, there's only so many things they can block incoming. Go for some multi balls. So also, if we get all the way to the back, um, if we actually punch a hole through the wall like that, try and get it through that hole. Can't say I'm that accurate, but we'll give it a shot. Um, it goes to the dragon and then he spits out as a fiery ball. That's pretty cool. I don't really want that power if it doesn't do anything productive. <laughs> I normally lose the ball if I use that. But that one's okay. No, nope, never mind. Okay, I'm making good headway here. Lots of balls on the field, that's what we want. This one's quite neat, it just makes the thing just generally bigger, but it doesn't last very long. We're making good headway here. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Jinxed it. Okay, how are we gonna get up to the dragon? Oh dear. Okay, I'm really hoping I can do this all in one ball now. That went peaked on pretty quick.
Yeah, it's a couple more. Okay, that's good. Just try and aim them all to that side if I can now. Just one more, come on. Oh, well, a bit late for that, but that's what the dragon does anyway. It's pretty cool. If you do hit like a big chunk of bricks, then you know they all sort of come down at the same time. It's pretty neat. Okay, yeah, this is the bit. This sucks. Okay. <laughs> now, this isn't really so difficult as it's more of a sort of endurance -y kind of thing, I'd say. Um, they're building the wall, as you can see, and you've got to knock it down before they build it. Um, we're on Superstar, so we're on the harder difficulty now. Um, so they just build really quick, and um, to be honest, what the game normally does, um, after you've fluffed up a couple of times, I think it just feels sorry for you and they stop, um, they stop building the wall. Um, and they just start walking sort of uh, to and fro, so... That's probably going to happen, to be honest, I don't think I've ever done it when that's not happened, so let's see how we get on. <laughs> okay, of course, if we can get up to the dragon, that's always helpful. I just realised I've only got one ball, I should try and be quite careful. <laughs> oh, dragon's got one, that's good. It's actually going okay, so if I can stop them dropping them right on the corners, if they, just, if they dropped them in the middle, that's fine. But it's the ones on the corners generally harder to hit. Last pull is actually going really well. <laughs> Hope they're going to run out of bricks soon. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Um, they've run out of bricks, <laughs> so um, yeah, I've just got to knock them down. I can hit the dudes as they walk past, but nothing really happens. Just going to try and make sure I don't lose this ball. So there's one good thing about hitting the dragon is the ball isn't actually that quick when he spits it back out. Oh, that was good. Come on, just a couple more. Awesome, okay. That went much more smoothly than I thought it was gonna. Okay, so we've only got a little wall this time around, but they chuck stuff at you. Again, you can stop them doing it, but as you can see by the shadows, they really home. The, high, the higher the difficulty, the more their projectiles kind of home. But they don't flatten you or anything, they just make you go slow. So as long as there's plenty of balls about, you should be fine. A couple more. Don't really want the red one, that's just the that's just quick, I think quick small and quick. No one needs that. <laughs> oh 
Awesome, okay. Two more parts to this stage to go now. This bit's actually quite cool. Um, it's probably not that cool to watch, but it is quite fun to play. And after this bit, we literally just kick the dragon's butt, and it's uh, and it's done. Yeah, there's not really much I can say about this bit, other than the jumping and the um, ducking animations aren't particularly long, so you do have to leave them to the last second. But yeah, that, that's all it is. <laughs> it counts as a stage. Okay, well, time to mess the dragon up. I'm probably going to fail this. I'm pretty sure I'm going to fail it. At least the first time. Yeah, I failed it the first time. <laughs> um, it was really just... I was just trying to get used to the controls again for this bit. If you get caught in his fire blast and he does a full sort of blast at you and it all hits, you do take a hell of a lot of damage, like more or less half your health. Um, but really the best method is just to when he starts shooting, just leg it just as far away as you can to the side. Hopefully you're not in the middle of the screen when he's doing it to begin with. You won't take any damage at all, or very little. Pretty much like that, that's what you got to do. Just that fire blast does have a bigger range than you think. I'm just really just getting the timing down. I should get him, maybe two more. Okay, maybe, maybe now two more. <laughs> nice. Great, now we save the chip. As you know, I'm not going to be using the chip. I think he's even smaller. Uh, actually, thinking about it, the magnet guy is probably a little bit bigger than... Than, um, than the guy we're normally using, but still, I, I'm only going to use uh, the red guy for this. Um, that's probably easier than the farm stage. I mean, the ducks were the, ugh, the ducks, ugh, the farm stage and the ducks, ugh. But um, <laughs> yeah, that was kind of easy in comparison. Um, but next up, we've got the factory. That's pretty easy too. And um, yeah, well, we're actually well over halfway through this game now. But anyway, I hope you uh, join for the next part.